In this video, I will be showing you how to adjust the column widths of an Excel document using Python. Here is the document we will be working with for this demonstration. It has three columns. Well, it has four columns, but three of them which we will be affecting. The first column is the ID of the location where the item is sold. This is a, a fake set of retail data. The second column is the name of the item that is sold. There are things in there like the television, a television stand, an Alexa, and a Bluetooth sound bar. The third column is the salesman, the name of the salesman who sold the item. There are some fake names in here, John Washington, Alexandra Smith, Kenny Longname, and Mary O'Hurley. Now, as you can see, the default sizes of the columns here are cutting off all of the information for these two columns and the top of the column of A. So we can't read these in their default settings. So what we're going to do is change these through Python to make them expand out to their appropriate size. The first thing I'm going to do is load in the workbook that I just showed you. I will be grabbing the load workbook function from the OpenPixel library. I will assign the workbook object to be the variable WB and then I will assign the worksheet of the workbook to be WS. The worksheet has a number of attributes that we're going to be working with quite a lot in this video. This is a fairly simple two-step process. First I have to collect the length of the longest string in the column and then I have to assign that length to the width attribute of the worksheet column. I will start with column A as an example of this process. And here in step one, I'm going to assign length of column to the length of the longest cell in the column, which I know is in position A1. It is the title. And here you can see that it has a string length of 14 characters. Step two is accessing the width attribute, and you get there by accessing the worksheet's column dimension, specifying the column that you're interested in. And of course, we're using column A here. And then you select the width attribute of that attribute. You assign this attribute the desired length. And all we have to do now is open up our document, and I'll show you how the column has changed. And here we can see that the column A has now changed its column size based upon the length of the string contained in column, uh, rather in cell A1, the title of this specific column. We can now read the entirety of the title of the column. Now, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for columns B and C. They have many more values of differing length. For example, um, Mary O'Hurley is not as long as John Washington or Alexandra Smith. The 52-inch TV is shorter than the Bluetooth sound bar. So in order to collect the appropriate length for the columns, I will have to put together a function to go through each cell and make sure that I'm attributing the column width to the length of the longest value of characters for each given column, specifically for column B and column C. Luckily, I already have done so, so let me bring on over this function, or rather this loop that I've written, and explain exactly what's going on here. Starting from the outside loop, what I'm saying here is that I want to loop through the two letters in the specific list, and I'm going to assign those letters the variable letter. So for each item, it's going to go through the specific contents of the columns A and B. I then create a max width variable that I will be assigning the longest string of text in that specific column for this loop. In this inner loop, I am then iterating through the worksheet to a range equivalent to the max row of the worksheet, making sure that I'm collecting all of the appropriate cells in the entire worksheet itself. This if statement then goes on to check to see if the length of the current cell's value is greater than the variable max width, which I've assigned starting with zero up here. If this value is greater than the current value of max width, I then assign max width the length of that value. Finally, I assign the appropriate column the maximum value as assigned in the inner loop up here. And I also like to add a one or a two to the width assignment sometimes just to get 
are just to give the text a little bit of extra room to breathe because sometimes when you do these assignments with the with attribute, the cells can get a little too close together and this is one easy way to work around that. Opening up our worksheet, we can now see that column B and column C have extended to the appropriate length so we can now read the contents of each cell for each column. So as you can see, it is quite simple. First you have to identify the length of the column as you want it to be, and then you assign the width attribute of the column dimensions attribute that specific length. Thank you once again for watching, and please keep an eye out for more videos on how to automate Excel tasks using Python.